This is a diagram of the gnome cavity, or void, which was created by the explosion and can be found directly under the monument. This next image shows the cavity in relation to the actual underground tunnel and the shaft where I was previously. So here we are at Gnome. This site was the very first detonation of an atomic bomb for peaceful purposes. The detonation was about uh, 3.1 kiloton nuclear detonation in 1961. Um, right below us on the site is where the actual bomb was detonated. It created a huge cavity so massive people could walk in it. Um, it was about a couple months before people could actually dig a hole to go back and enter this cavity. And when they did, it was about 21 millirodes gen per hour um, exposure rates inside of the cavity. The, all the cavity's walls were brightly colored because of the salt. They, they dug this into a huge salt cavity. And um, the salt its crystal structure was affected by this absolutely massive amount of radiation. And so this radiation um, broke some of those bonds in that crystal structure, and then so it changed the color of the salt. Um, here you can actually see, this is one of the monitoring wells um, that they dug. This actually goes down into the cavity. The cavity is currently sealed. Um, there is no entrance to the cavity. Additionally, the cavity has been filled with all of the waste material that was highly radioactive. Um, that they could gather around the site. They, they took it, made it into a slurry, and then pumped it into this huge cavity. Um, so I have a Geiger counter here. It has a pancake probe. It's a uh, little Model 2 with a Bicron, Bicron uh, pancake detector. And so as you can see, I'll put it right up against this well. You really don't have very elevated hardly any elevated light rates of uh, radiation here. Now if we pan the camera this way, you can actually see the huge salt lakes over there where they're still mining um, salt and gypsum. Right over there where that, that white sand is, is a waste dump. That's where they, when they re-entered the cavity, they, they dumped all of the tailings out there. Uh, most of that was remediated, but as, you, as you'll be able to see in the video in a few minutes, um, I go over there and I actually find some areas that are still fairly hot. This area right in here was the old dump site. So this is where um, a lot of the old contaminated equipment um, just miscellaneous items that they didn't need were disposed of and simply just buried out here in the desert. Um, so background is around 2 millirotogen per hour uh, on this meter for this tube. A sodium iodide crystal in here. So we're going to kind of be checking around um, on the ground to see what kind of contamination we can detect out here. Here you can see some wire. This is like maybe is that copper wire? I can't really tell. Um, you can find all types of stuff sticking out around here. Let's see. Still staying around background. Oh, here we have a little bit. Jumped a little bit. It's a bit jumpy out here. You'll have some spots that are hotter than others. Uh, as you can see, cattle out here actually, uh, well, they're poo isn't hot, but obviously cattle do graze out here still. Um, let's see spot there oh cool look at this alrighty so this this looks like um, so they actually mine this whole thing out uh, the gnome project it was actually a tunnel shaft and this looks like one of their um, pneumatic uh, mining um, spikes that would go into the drill and then it would drill into the wall so that's that's a neat find there all right so I'm gonna put this over by the road that's alrighty so we'll keep hunting here this, this looks like a good area um, let's see, I like I was getting something over here. Three, it's over two. Let's see, something over here. Oh, well, there's a pipe. Let's test it. Oh, wow, look at that. That's pretty hot. Alrighty, so we're gonna switch to uh, times 10. It's not super hot, but 
yeah, it's, there's definitely something in there. Alrighty, so we're gonna switch to the Geiger counter now. So we've got a pancake probe here. Yeah, you can hear it. There's definitely some activity. Maybe surface contamination too. Try turning it over. A bit more on the underside, see if there's stuff under. Maybe it's under the pipe. Let's move the pipe. It looks like there's a little under the pipe. Wow, look at that. Definitely something inside. That's neat. So this was likely maybe a vent pipe, maybe used underground. So they probably pulled this out from underground or maybe they ran water through it. Could be a, a well bore. It looks about the diameter to maybe be a well bore. And they maybe took samples um, with that pipe. Um, there's a little piece of rust. Let's test that. Yeah, you can rust. Well, yeah, well, it's a little bit hot. That's, that's pretty neat. So there's that, and uh, we'll continue hunting out this way. Actually, let's let's climb that berm over there. See by the white pillar. Uh, this is likely some of the uh, Gibson kind of salt stuff that was actually dug up, and it's hardened. It's actually quite hard here uh, when they were actually doing the making the tunnels. Some interesting, interesting rocks, interesting colors. No idea if that was colored like that before or after the test, but it's not really, not really very hot. But it's interesting, that's, that's for sure. Oh, you can see pieces of metal up here. Here's a big piece of metal, let's test that. Uh, interestingly enough, I think the cow urine, or some type of urine, some animal's urine is very yellow. It makes these weird stains. It's not radioactive. I've tested some of that. It's not really, not really showing much on my meter, but it's definitely interesting. Oh wow, look at this cable. That is a really large cable. I'm sure they use cables for all types of things. There's no telling what this specific cable was used for, but you know, it could have been communication. You can see a bunch of these big, big pieces of uh, maybe housing that looks like wire housing. Got some spare wire here. It's pretty cold, but uh old wire. Historical wire, I'd say. Definitely an interesting place. I have a little bit of activity up here. There's all types of weird looking stuff. This, look at that. That's kind of cool. It's not very hot, but that's that's pretty neat looking. There's some weird, weird rocks. What is this? That's really light. Almost feels like graphite, but it's it's not aluminum. Beryllium? I, don't, I doubt that's beryllium, but that's 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 a neat piece. Also, not very hot. I'll take these two back to the lab, try to analyze them. Um, oh, this is cool. Look at that. That's a shot glass. It's a fancy one too. Yeah, so there's all types of stuff up here in this these trash piles up here. Um, I'll try to include some pictures. Here are some of the cool artifacts that I found while I was hiking around the gnome site. And in addition, here are some really cool pictures of minerals that were recovered after the shot from the gnome cavity.